Eov, Job 33. Wherefore, Eov, I pray you, hear my speeches and hearken to all my words. Behold, now I have opened my mouth. My tongue has spoken in my mouth. My words shall be of the uprightness of my heart, and my lips shall utter knowledge clearly. The Ruach El has made me, and the breath of El Shaddai has given me life. If you can answer me, set your words in order before me. Stand up. Behold, I am according to your wish in El's stead. I also am formed out of the clay. Behold, my terror shall not make you afraid, neither shall my hand be heavy upon you. Surely you have spoken in my hearing, and I have heard the voice of your words, saying, I am clean without transgression, I am innocent, neither is there iniquity in me. Behold, he finds occasions against me, he counts me for his enemy. He puts my feet in the stocks. He marks all my paths. Behold, in this you are not just. I will answer you that Eloah is greater than man. Why do you strive against him? For he gives not account of any of this his matters. For El speaks once, yea, twice, yet... Man perceives it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls upon men, in slumberings upon the bed. Then he opens the ears of men and seals their instruction, that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. He keeps back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. He is chastened also with pain upon his bed and the multitude of his bones with strong pain so that his life abhors bread and his soul dainty meat. His flesh is consumed away that it cannot be seen and his bones that were not seen stick out. Yea, his soul draws near unto the grave, and his life to the destroyers. If there be a messenger with him, an interpreter, one among a thousand, to show unto man his uprightness, then he is gracious unto him, and says, Deliver him from going down to the pit. I have found a ransom. His flesh shall be fresher than a child's. He shall return to the days of his youth. He shall pray unto Eloah, and he will be favorable unto him. And he shall see his face with joy, for he will render unto man his righteousness. He looks upon men, and if any say, I have sinned, and perverted that which was right, and it profited me not, he will deliver his soul from going into the pit, and his life shall see the light. Lo, all these things works ail oftentimes with man, to bring back his soul from the pit, to be enlightened with the light of the living. Mark well, O Eov, hearken unto me. Hold your peace, and I will speak. If you have anything to say, answer me. Speak, for I desire to justify you. If not, hearken unto me. Hold your peace, and I shall teach you wisdom.